The film opens up in the busy market of Bogota, Colombia. There are visitors jams everywhere, and we see random people promoting stuff to make a living outside the fringe of Belco Industries. Armed guards are very well checking the IDs and motors of the employees. The CEO, Barry, is astonished that he is requested for identification as nicely. One of the personnel speak their native language is sent home by the armed guards. After the strict checkup, all the employees get in the building and put together for work. Oblivious to them, all the rooms, even the restroom, are constantly being monitored through cameras. Dani is a newcomer to Belco, and so she is being briefed about the brand new facilities, which include the tracer implanted on the return of her head. She is instructed that the tracer is for her safety in opposition till we get to recognize that Belco is an international organization that hires American people to work in South America. Elsewhere, the offices creep. Wendell continuously stares at the beautiful Leandra and would not stop even when she notices him. After some time, a nerdy guy named Mike procedures her and the two start making out. However, Leandra unexpectedly stops and exclaims that she just were given via a divorce and would not need to rush matters. Later, Mike enters his co-worker Terry's room and inquires approximately why best few human beings are gift nowadays. Terry would not recognize the real cause both, but he assumes that the locals didn't show up because they were sent domestic through the guards on the gate. A confused Mike then heads again to his room and stares suspiciously at the hangar subsequent to his building. He calls workplace protection Evan to inquire approximately the odd occasions. But even the latter has no idea. Suddenly, a mysterious voice on the intercom alerts everyone within the constructing to prevent working. It says that there are 80 humans in the building, and maximum of them might be dead inside eight hours if the given mission is not completed. The undertaking is to cast off any employees inside half hour. Otherwise, worse effects can be faced. Hearing this, every person begins panicking and crying in worry. Their worries develop even greater after they find out that the telephones are lifeless and the cellular networks are jammed, left without options. Mike tells anybody to evacuate the ground calmly, however, as they may be doing so. Strengthened metallic plates abruptly seal each door and window from out of doors. Now, each person in the workplace starts knowing that the risk is actual as they're freaking out. Mike calmly tells the maintenance people, Bart and Lonnie, to melt the metallic with a blowtorch. However, even after this, the doors are unaffected. Some people rush to the roof to test if they are able to alert all of us out or the premises. Down inside the hall, the CEO, Barry, tries to pacify his team by explaining that someone might be playing a prank on them. But Mike is convinced, as he thinks the situation can be serious. He suspects that the useless phones, armed guards, and the motion of guards on the old hammer are all part of a bigger plot. At the roof, a female notices an armed shield in the defense post. She hurriedly informs other personnel contributors and calls them to shout for assist. The protect hears them and appears toward the roof, but he absolutely ignores them as if nothing has happened. The stoner of the institution, Marty, believes that every one of this is a mental take a look at, so he tells every person at the roof to stay calm. However, right after he finishes talking, a lady employee's head explodes. Zoinks! Then, Three different workers perish within the identical style down within the lobby. Realizing that they are in deep hassle, Mike quick locks himself in the lavatory and tries retrieving the tracer with a knife. But right then, the voice at the intercom interrupts him via threatening to blow his head off within the subsequent 10 seconds if he does not forestall. Hearing this, Mike reluctantly obliges. Meanwhile, after busting through the gadgets held on the wall, the staff participants locate that there are cameras anywhere in the constructing down at the basement where Danny is hiding. Bart and Lonnie go to restoration the air conditioner. Bart is having a look at the AC fans whilst the voice at the intercom resumes. It says the sport is actual and that no one should ruin the cameras or plug out the tags from their heads. The voice further orders the body of workers, individuals to put of 30 humans amongst them within the subsequent two hours. Otherwise, 60 more workers will must perish with their heads exploding. Hearing this, everyone freaks out. As soon because the voice stops, Wendell and some CEO workers accumulate knives from the cafeteria, even as others flee to a quiet vicinity to cover. In the basement, Bert attempts to calm Lonnie, however to his wonder. The latter hits him on the top, doing away with him instantly. Lonnie then spots Donnie in her hiding spot and rushes to take her out. However, she fights Lauer back and manages to kill him rather by pushing him towards a pillar. Up in the corridor, Barry, Wendell and Terry are thinking about the killing alternative. 
at the same time as every different person inside the room refuses it. So, Leandra comes up with an trade idea of putting banners from the rooftop to set them up. Leandra and Mike collect things like paints, rope and duct tape and head to the elevator. While going upstairs, Mike, Leandra, Barry and his group, melting the locks of the armory, scared that they will be Mike requests that they prevent. However, the terrible men continue torturing the armory locks. Enraged, Mike pulls out a gun, shoots on the gasoline tank, after which heads in the direction of the rooftop with his group. In the next scene, the stoner, Marty, empties every single jar of ingesting water in the office constructing. Thinking that his fellow CEO employees are hallucinating due to it, they're putting LSD in the water. Scoop. Back at the rooftop, Mike and a pal are trying to grasp a banner that reads, We're being held hostage. However, the armed guards on the floor start taking pictures at them, forcing the organization to retreat. Down at the stairs, Mike tells Leandra that he thinks the complete situation is a human experiment. Someone is attempting to extort a few sort of statistics from them. Just then, Barry arrives there and knocks Mike out with a blow to the pinnacle. Wendell then points a knife at Evan and asks for the keys to the armory. However, the latter denies. He as an alternative throws them away. And due to this, an irritated Wendell stabs him to dying. After retrieving the keys, Barry opens up the armory and distributes diverse pistols to his group contributors. The armed institution then forces all of the CEO employees back to the lobby. Later, Barry categorizes everybody into one of a kind businesses to weed out people that can be removed. He basically picks the old and the diseased ones. However, the wide variety of expendable humans remains very low. They're strolling out of time. It is simplest 20 minutes from the cut of date. Left with no alternatives, Barry decides to manually pick the targets and starts shooting at their heads. Mike is also one of the goals. When Terry is set to fire at him, unexpectedly Danny pours up the electrical essential switch and absolutely everyone, inclusive of Mike, flees to discover cover. The voice on the intercom then declares that only 29 human beings are lifeless and just two minutes are closing. There ought to be one greater removal within the subsequent 120 seconds. In any other case, 30 extra will perish. In the intervening time, Leandra is being followed via Terry, but she manages to cover under a desk. She hints him along with her footwear after which assaults him from at the back of, injuring him badly. Terry lies down at the floor, pleading for mercy. And in spite of all that he has carried out, Leandra lets him pass soon. The time is up, but the employees are one frame short and the project is not completed consequently. As previously stated, the voice explodes. The heads of 31 extra humans, together with Terry. The voice on the intercom tells that the rule of the ultimate degree is straightforward. Unfortunately, her pal cannot make it on time. And as a result, he receives overwhelm. This stops the elevator, trapping Barry internal. Down in the cafeteria, on the first floor, Leandra reveals Marty and his pal Chet digging out the unexploded bombs from the dead humans' heads. They are planning to apply the bombs to make a hollow through the metallic protect on the way to break out. Later, Leandra reaches for the intercom microphone and calls out for Mike, asking him to come get her on the first floor. Up in the elevator, Barry breaks the handlebar and in the end cranks the elevator door open. Meanwhile, as Leandra is trying to drink a few water, she notices Wendell dragging and butchering a corpse. Terrified, Marty and Chet be part of her, and the three try to overpower him collectively. Unfortunately, despite being injured, the ferocious Wendell finishes of Chet and Marty and then goes after Leandra. But earlier than he can kill her as nicely, she cleverly pushes a desk against him, after which ends him with an orb. In the following scene, Mike and Leandra locate every different within the foyer and breathe a sigh of comfort. Meanwhile, Danny hangs directly to the alternative facet of the elevator to get out from the ground. And on the equal time, Barry gets out from the carry with the assist of the handlebar. Down in the basement, a man is creating a Morlot of cocktail from generator gasoline and some glass bottles. Leandra suggests Mike the bombs taken out from the deceased's heads, which he puts in his pocket. Suddenly, the man from the basement throws a Morlot of cocktail at a female, burning her alive. He also slings it towards Mike and Leandra, however misses by way of inches. Just then, Barry arrives and shoots the Morlot of man useless. He also manages to injure Leandra. At the same time, Danny slips inside the elevator and heads down to the ground ground. But, as quickly because the elevator door opens, Barry finishes her off with an unmarried shot, leaving best three people, Barry, Mike and Leandra.
The couple hides interior a closet and has a brief chat where Mike assures her that they will get out of the area correctly. However, the injured Leandra doesn't reply and she or he slowly succumbs to her injuries. Now, just the two men are ultimate. After some time, Barry arrives on the room following the blood path and out of rage, Mike jumps out from the closet and attacks him. This results in a severe fight, which involves several punches and kicks. However, in the end, our protagonist ultimately manages to kill the terrible man by way of continuously hitting him with the tape dispenser. Mike is now the sole survivor among 80 employees of Belco Industries, and the voice at the intercom congratulates him. The metallic shields also retract from the doorways and home windows, and soon, guards input the corridor and maintain Mike. He is taken to the old hangar subsequent to the constructing, where he meets the man in the back of the voice at the intercom. A harassed Mike is then dragged to its chair, in which he is interrogated. The man famous that the game is in test, performed by means of social scientists, and its goal is to accumulate records for society modeling within the destiny. To all and sundry surprise, Mike has already planted the tiny bombs onto the guards, and at an opportune second, he detonates a transfer and explodes the bombs of each worker's call except his. When the guards collapse, he takes the gun from one among them, shoots other remaining officers, and fires several rounds at the main guy until he runs out of bullets. In the final scene, Mike comes out of the hangar, faces the sky with closed eyes, and drops the gun. The view slowly zooms out to disclose a couple of monitors in which the workers from other Belco agencies have survived from their corresponding experiments. Subscribe for more videos like this. Turn on notifications. Thank you for looking.